Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show local news sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Parks Yoga. Check us out on all of our platforms. Well, there was a shooting at a South Avondale football field and somebody got sent to the hospital. It never ends, folks. Zachary Reedy, looking, looked right here, has been charged with dog abuse, charged with animal cruelty, kicking dogs, killing dogs, malnutrition dogs. This guy looks familiar. It looks like somebody I know. Samuel Baker arrested in Kansas with his girlfriend for a murder down in Somerset. He's going to be sent back home. Jason Case, 20 years for trafficking fentanyl by Judge Bunny. Three are wanted for armed robbery in Cincinnati up in Hamilton. No names have been mentioned yet. And the last of the felony lane gang has been sentenced. Local news. The 114th Thanksgiving Day race went off without a hitch. I hope you went and ran in it. I did not. Boone County school issues. There's a lot of them, and I got some people that give me some information. November 2023 Boone County School Board meeting. Accountability report described by school administrator as gobbledygook because they don't tell you anything really, hiding their poor results from the public. 80 open positions for bus driver. School board still refusing up salaries for bus drivers, knowing that is the issue. At a November special meeting, blindsided their Boone County legislators. Matthew Turner, the superintendent for Boone County Schools, hired a lobbyist for $1,000 to moderate an informal meeting that was later posted as a workshop open to the public to set up an adversarial debate unbeknownst to the legislatures until their arrival. That included Senator Schickel on discipline and inappropriate content being taught in schools, Marianne Proctor on RFID cards and new standard goals of only 40% proficient distinguished, Steve Rawlings panorama, and Jay Williams school choice, diversity and schooling options to include classical education. There's a war going on out there in Boone County, and I stand with the people trying to make it better. All right, what else do we got? Cyber Monday is today. We had Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday. What's tomorrow? Red Tuesday. Turfway Park opens their winter meet Wednesday. A woman was followed by a man with a knife over at TQL Stadium, she says. No place is safe in Cincinnati. In Kentucky news, Lisa Payne Jones is going to run for the Court of Appeals. So is Jason Fleming from Christian County, family court judge. Now, this is kind of sad and hysterical. Somebody's been arrested in Jefferson County. Their plan was to kill rich white people to protest the lack of gun control. That sounds like a nice way to do it. I swear, craziness. Again, Jason Fleming is going to run for the Court of Appeals against Lisa Payne Jones for the opening seat. Dr. Anand P. Lodge has been suspended. His medical license apparently screwing up surgeries left and right, including a brain surgery. He's from down the Paducah area. They're trying to figure out how to give $73 million to state workers for raises. We'll see what happens. Can you be arrested for stealing your own car? Well, apparently Florence police arrested a guy accused of stealing his own car. It was a big mix up. Now here's the problem with the case. I know about this. The issue, I mean, it sounds ridiculous, right? But was the car reported stolen? Did they have probable cause that he stole the car? That's the problem you got to overcome, but it is crazy if you're him, right? In Ohio news, a cheer team called the Monroe's We Hornets are auctioning off an AR-15. Whatever works. Ohio deer hunting begins today for seven days. Long rifle. 1.35 million chicks are being destroyed because of the bird flu. Seems like an overkill. Pun intended. Melissa Powers gave an interview to one of the local television stations, broke down, saying how much she cares about the community, and she needs to stay as prosecutor, and I agree. Melissa Powers all the way. PNG Sittenfeld says he wants his sentencing report date to be delayed till January. Five died in a terrible Athens County fire. In Indiana news, an Indiana man leaked evidence in the Delphi murders, which led to a suicide and all the defense attorneys withdrawing from the case. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Check out our weekly news. It goes out every Friday.